Hi there. Today, I'm taking you 2,700 years back in time. Today, I want to tell you one of my favorite stories in the Bible. It's the story of the Israeli prophet, Elisha. He always heard God's voice. So he often gave the king advice on his next moves. At that time, Israel was at war with the king of the Syrians. We will send our armies here, here, and over there. The Israelis will have no chance of escaping. <laughs> Elisha was always listening to God, and God hmm. told him everything their enemies hmm. had planned. Your Majesty, beware of passing by this place, because the Syrians will go down there. The Israeli king did as told, and their army escaped the Syrians several times. Somebody must have told them. Tell me, who among us is snitching to the Israelis? N no one, your majesty. It's Elisha, the Israelite prophet, who tells Israel's king the words that you speak, even in your bedroom. <gasps> hmm. Go and find out where he is. Your majesty, I heard he is right here in this town. Well, go and capture him. Oh no! Master, master! What will we do? Oh, boy, don't be afraid. There are more of us than there are of them. What do you mean? We're two, and they are, I don't know, thousands? Come outside with me, boy. Dear Lord, please open his eyes so that he may see. Dear Lord, strike this nation with blindness. What happened? And where is that prophet? This isn't the right road or the right city. Follow me and I'll lead you to the man you are looking for. Just follow my voice. Keep going. But Elisha had another plan in mind. He brought them right up to the Israeli king. 
Dear Lord, open the eyes of these men so they can see. What? Where are we? Wait, this is a trap. Elijah, should I kill them? Should I? No, don't kill them. Did you capture them with your own sword or bow? Do you have the right to kill them? Put food and water in front of them so they can eat and drink and return to their master. Um, all right then. Oh man, this is so good. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers! Thank you so much. Have a great trip home. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Yes, you know? And then they let us go straight home. What? Really? With such generosity, we better stop harassing them. <laughs> <laughs> After that, the Syrians no longer attacked Israel. So they could live in peace. And the cool part of the story is this. Elijah knew that God was always watching over him. But his servant couldn't see that right away. He only saw the enemies right in front of them. When God opened the boy's eyes, he could suddenly see the huge army sent from heaven, always watching over them. The same goes for us. Sometimes, the only thing we can see are the difficulties right in front of us. But if we let God open up our eyes, we get to see how He's always watching over us. He will strengthen those who love Him, so we don't have to fear anything. Thanks for following along with this episode. We'll see each other again in another episode of Bible Heroes of Faith. See ya!